Group G has Nagoya Grampus from Japan and Johor Darul Tazim from Malaysia take each other on. Second meeting between the two. The previous one was a 1-0 win, a tough-fought game where Nagoya emerged victorious. A win in this game would see them secure the group, whereas Johor, they're looking for their first points in the competition. Things wouldn't start all too well for them as it's an early penalty. Mateus is the man who's up to the challenge as he slots it calm, cool, and collected. And the Japanese side get their dream start. Keeper guessed wrong as his team are down by one, but it would be a sign of things to come perhaps as the Japanese side right back on the attack. Excellently laid off and the finish leaves much to be desired. It's another golden moment and this one doesn't even trouble the keeper. He doesn't have to make a save. The ball just sails into the netting. But Nagoya would come right back on the offensive side of things with a dream goal. A mesmerizing strike from Hiroyuki Abe. It's 2-0 now for Nagoya Grampus. Excellent position for them, but things would turn on a dime, it seemed. Johor not to be counted out in this game. They're playing for pride in this competition, and that pride almost got them a goal. Leandro connects with it rather well with the left foot, but Langerak is up to the challenge. He's got the shooter's number this time. Just a few moments later, last couple minutes before the half ends, and it's an excellent sequence that leads to the opener. Well, the opener for Johor, that is, that's their first goal in the competition. Now all they have to do is hunt for their first points. Ramadan Saifullah with the goal. It comes off the rebound, and he'll take it no matter what. On to the second half we go, where Nagoya would need to continue that aggression if they want to secure those three points and the top spot in the group, and they would have that. Ultimately, they would not be rewarded with the goal as some solid defending out front prevents the net from bulging. The second half turned into more of a contained and a bit more rough affair in the football world. However, there were still a couple chances. Nothing all too special, however, as neither side were really able to get into the box with consistency, and it was mostly on the outside where things came true. Possibly the best chance that didn't end up in the back of the net in the game. Johor had an opportunity here to go 2-2, get themselves the one point in the standings, but they couldn't muster that as Nagoya Grampus secure the top spot in Group G with the W, while the Malaysian squad will have to look for another point elsewhere.